Welcome to Fit Freedom 3.0 and the Cheer Industries only augmented reality sizing app. You are getting ready to size with state-of-the-art scanning technology that combines easy-to-use interface, 30-plus measurements, and machine learning algorithms to automatically determine athlete sizes, including length adjustments. Today we will go over all the steps for how to scan your athlete. First, when choosing a wall to do your scans, it is important to have your setup for scanning in an area with good lighting. Improper lighting of an athlete can cause harsh or uneven shadows to be cast, which can interfere with Fit Freedom's ability to detect the body boundaries. In addition, you want to use a solid white or light colored clean wall. Try to avoid using a background with designs, textures, or logos. Now let's block off where the athlete will be standing on the floor during the scans to make it easy. Measure one foot away from the wall and mark with tape. Next, make sure your athlete is properly dressed. Solid black sports bra and compression shorts are ideal for an easy scan. Love the look, but that won't work to scan the body properly. Close, but still not right. Perfect. For the best scans, it is recommended athletes wear tight-fitted solid black sports bra and compression shorts. This allows Fit Freedom to easily detect the boundaries of the body for determining accurate measurements. If an athlete is in the wrong garments, it could cause an incorrect size recommendation. Before taking your scan, let's make sure athlete is fully prepared. If hair is loose, it will need to be pulled into a tight bun on top of the head. We don't want any hairs hanging down on the shoulders obscuring the scan. And ask athlete to remove any jewelry they are wearing. You want your athlete to have clean ears, neck, and wrists, please. Now let's get your athlete's height. To do this, we will use a handy wall chart for measuring. No guessing here. It's important that we have an accurate measurement for the app to use, so use a flat, stiff object, such as a ruler, placed on top of the head to note position on the chart. If your athlete falls in between whole inches, you will need to round up or down to the closest inch. To help stabilize yourself during the scan, it is recommended to have a chair or stool to sit on. And place yourself six feet away from the athlete. Depending on the device's camera you are using, you may have to adjust your placement. You want to ensure the athlete is filling up the screen without cutting off any part of their head or feet. To save time and ensure a seamless fitting, add your athletes into Fit Freedom before they arrive to be sized. Please note that you will need the age and gender of each athlete to save them to your roster inside the app. If you do need to add athletes during your fitting, select the order you will be scanning for, hit the Add Athlete button, and Fit Freedom will have you input their name, age, gender, and height. Now that you and your athlete are properly positioned, and you have the athlete's information in the app, let's get started with the front scan. Step one, ask athlete to step one foot away from wall to marker. Stepping away from the wall will minimize any harsh shadows being created that could obscure the scan. Have the athlete stand with feet shoulder width apart and put hands in a fist and place on hips. Make sure fists are below the waist and on hips. If fists are sitting at waist level, they will obscure the scan. Elbows are pulled in line with the body. Now we're ready for our first scan. During the scan, you will hold your device in front of your body with it parallel to the wall. Position the white square roughly in the center of the athlete's body and angle the device to move the pink star into the center of the square. Micro movements are all it takes to move the star and Fit Freedom will auto capture the scan once the star is in the box. If you are having trouble getting the star into the box, don't give up. Practice a little more by stabilizing the device on your knees and slightly tilting the screen towards you to move the star. Once you get the hang of it, it'll become simple to do. Easy peasy! A wire mesh scan of the body is sent to our servers and run through the machine learning algorithm. No actual pictures are ever captured or stored by Fit Freedom for privacy. Once the scan has come back from the servers, you will go through several screens of body marker positions, making adjustments as necessary. These markers need to be placed accurately on the body for the app to give proper sizing. 
you will see slider buttons along the sides of the screen with names of the body measurement that you can press and drag to adjust marker placement. Once you have your finger pressed on the slider, the screen will give you a zoomed in view and a pop-up showing the correct placement for your reference. Use these sliders to move through each measurement and position the markers for body placement. Now for step two, the side scan. Have your athlete make a quarter turn to their left and look straight ahead. Place their feet together on marker. Raise right arm up at a 90 degree angle. Your athlete may need to pull their arm back slightly if it is blocking their face from being seen. Fit Freedom uses eye position during the scan, so we don't want to block the face. And pull left arm clean to side of the body. Make sure that you cannot see their left arm on your device's screen. With athlete in correct position, you are ready to take side scan. Just like the front pose, you will be positioning the square roughly in center of body and angling the device to move the pink star into the box. Scanned. Once the scan for this side pose has come back from the servers, you will go through additional screens of body marker positions, making adjustments as necessary. Repeat the same process as the front scan, using the sliders along the sides of the screen to move the markers. Each slider will give you a zoomed in view with a pop-up showing correct placement for reference. Once finished with the last marker placement, the app will save the athlete sizes and move them to the measured athlete's column. If the order you are scanning for has styles already loaded in, you will be shown the sizing results screen. On this screen, you will see listed each style for that order with Fit Freedom size suggestion. While reviewing the size suggestions, you will notice three small boxes underneath it with a line marker showing where the athlete falls in the size range. This is a helpful tool that shows if the athlete is on the cusp of being in the next size and allows you to make a decision on sizing up or down if necessary. To change the size, you simply tap on the size suggestion and a list of full size range will pop up that you can select from. To the right of the size suggestion, you will see length adjustments for the style based on the body scan. If length adjustments are needed, they will be auto-filled. Just like the size suggestion, you have the ability to change the length adjustments as you like by pressing the plus or minus buttons. Making any changes to the official suggestions will result in a warning dialog box pop-up and require e-signature acknowledging a user change. Goodbye FitKits! Hello Fit Freedom.